previously we saw that if you are dealing with uh, with an annuity that is going to give you C some cash flow C every year and your annuity lasts for a certain number of years call it T and your discount rate or your interest rate or your opportunity cost if that is known uh, call it R then uh, this is the expression that you can use this is the formula that you can use to determine the present value of that annuity uh, now it turns out that this expression that you have in the bracket right right so everything but the initial like the C here this whole thing this is uh, sometimes referred to as the present value interest interest factor present value interest factor of an annuity present value interest factor of an annuity or often abbreviated as PVIFA where A is for annuity uh, you'll notice that I have these subscripts R and T over here uh, these are meant to denote the idea that if you know what your interest rate or discount rate is and if you know what your T is, where T is the number of years the annuity is lasting for, then you can just plug those values here and get a numerical value for this entire expression. What is this expression capturing? It's basically capturing the present value of a $1 annuity that lasts for T years when the annual interest rate is R. The term here is annual. So, so what I mean by that is that if you are looking at like $1 at one year, and then you're looking at another dollar two years from now, and then this annuity, right, this annuity lasts for T years, where T could be 5, 10, 15, 20, 100, uh, whatever, and you're getting the last dollar here we're saying that the present value of this annuity this one dollar annuity that lasts for t years when the interest rate is some number r that is given by this expression right over here and so the present value formula then can also be expressed as c where c could be any number uh, like 400 or 500 so this is the regular cash flow uh, that we would have uh, you know at these intervals and all you need to do to determine the present value of say like a $400 annuity is you take 400 and then multiply it by this PVIFA which is the present value for $1 annuity so the usefulness of this expression is that you're saying look if I know how much a $1 annuity is worth today uh, all I need to do is take that and multiply it by C, where C is the actual annuity, which in this case is 400 that I am dealing with. So you will often find that in your textbooks, you will have something called the present value of annuity tables or present value interest factor of annuity tables. As you have seen, if you know the interest rate R and the number of time periods T, then you can get, you can get a numerical value for this PVIFA and so that is what is shown in these tables here so for example if the uh, interest rate is five percent and if uh, the number of years that you're looking at is seven then this 5.7864 is basically the present value of one dollar annuity that you're receiving for seven years right so if you were going to get you know one dollar one year from now and then another dollar one year from now right so this is this is one this is two and if you were gonna get your last you were gonna get your last one dollar seven years from now the present value of these seven dollars right here that at the interest rate of five percent is five point seven eight six four that's what this is saying and so let's uh, let's implement uh, this uh, the, let's use these tables to solve a problem that we have seen before let's suppose that you have a rich and benevolent uncle he promises you five hundred dollars every year for seven years uh, with the first five hundred occurring one year from today uh, the formulaic approach to determining the present value of this annuity is to say look present value is take the 500 and you do one 
minus 1 over 1 point uh, zero 04 where 4 is the interest rate uh, you raise this to the power uh, 7 where 7 is the number of years the annuity is lasting for and then you're going to take this whole thing and divide it by 0 0.04 we have seen that in the past this this solves out to about three thousand and one dollars and you know two cents approximately this is one way of doing it I'm saying that another way of doing it would be to say look let's just first look at the interest rate which is four percent let's take a look at the number of years for which our annuity is lasting for which is seven take this expression right here this is how much one dollar annuity would be worth uh, today if you were receiving that one dollar every year for the next seven years and the interest rate was four percent so you can now say look present value of 500 annuity that lasts for the same number of years and given the same interest rate is just 500 into 6.0021 you can confirm that this too will come out to 3001.02 and so this is how you can use the present value interest factor of an annuity table or present value uh, of annuity tables to calculate the present value of literally any annuity uh, as long as you know how long the annuity is going to last for and what the discount rate is.